Welcome to Simple Smart Investing Podcast, brought to you by Corey Schrader, the founder of Black Creek Wealth Management, a registered investment advisory firm out of Jacksonville, Florida. Information presented is for educational purposes only and does not intend to make an offer or solicitation for the sale or purchase of any specific securities, investments, or investment strategies. Investments involve risk and, unless otherwise stated, are not guaranteed. Be sure to first consult with a qualified financial advisor and or tax professional before implementing any strategy discussed herein. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. What is Simple Smart Investing? This show is designed to help our listeners think differently about financial topics and investing. Corey has over 15 years of complex trading, investment management, and comprehensive financial planning he wants to share to serve others. The landscape of investing is changing, and to be successful, Corey wants to introduce to his listeners alternative thinking around their investing so they can make impactful decisions to work towards their goals quickly and safely as possible. Thank you for tuning in. And now, let's get to the show. Hey everybody, Corey Schrader with Black Creek Wealth Management. Super excited to be doing episode number three. This is my, uh, keep it on the secret, this is my secret podcast for this week of the 13th of December, 2022. Uh, just wanted to see if anyone's paying attention out there and uh, have a pretty good strategy that I wanna you know, allude to and talk about, which is called the Mega backdoor Roth. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but just wanted to say thank you first and foremost for jumping in and listening to my podcast. When you get an opportunity, shoot over, like, comment, uh, jump on my YouTube page, go ahead and jump over to Apple Podcasts, Podbean, wherever you're at, just please comment, like, share, please get this out. I want to make sure that people are getting taken care of and they know uh, just some of the extra details and things that they can do out there other than just the normal stuff that you see uh, from your brokerage houses. And of course, want to, at the same time, try to dispel any myths out there on things you can and can't do and just get you good information uh, as that is something that I, I, I really take pride in. So I want to make sure that you have the best information out there and ultimately have all the things that you need to make more money as quickly and safely as possible. So again, thanks for listening in. So let's talk about this mega backdoor Roth. Many people have, might have heard the term backdoor Roth, but they haven't heard of the mega backdoor Roth. And I'm not talking about Pokemon here. I'm talking about this is something that actually one of my uh, close friends, one of my mentors, actually, Rick, he turned me on to this and absolutely wanted to get this out there as quickly as possible, given that we are at the end of the year here. Uh, so if it's something that you can do this year, great. If you can't, definitely want to start building it into your mindset for next year. Now, I will tell you this. A lot of people out there love doing after-tax savings. They'll talk about conversions. They'll talk about Roth contributions. They're going to talk about all these uh, unique words. And it's very confusing if you're not in the industry and you don't know the terminology. So it's something that I hope to clarify over time with you. Uh, but definitely wanted to address this with my higher net worth and higher earnings um, type of investors, or even those that maybe aren't doing high net worth, but maybe they're just saving a lot of their income. So a lot of us know that we have 401ks that our plans allow. 401ks are just those accounts that the government allows us to save our money in to be able to get tax deferred growth, which means we don't pay taxes on it now. It comes in pre-taxed, we put it in an account, and then we have to pay taxes on it after it grows, let's say 10, 15 years. We pull the money out to live on, we pay taxes on that money. So we get to defer any growth until we take the money out. Well, there's a Roth option that you're able to put money in after paying taxes that grows tax-free. And then when you pull the money out, you pay no taxes on that money which means that the growth of the account, which is what everyone cares about, is going to be tax-free. So it's a more of an advantage to be able to do things after tax. You're going to pay taxes today, but you're as much people want to say this, you're not going to see taxes lower in the future. So if you can pay taxes at a lower rate today, why wouldn't you, right? And that's why people who do Roths and Roth... Um, conversions want to pay the taxes now while they can because their situation either dictates they have lower taxes or we know your tax rates are going to be 
much higher in the future. This is perfect for people who are, you know, young twenties who don't have uh, a lot of taxable income. You can do a Roth and it grows tax free, and you get in under the bell. Well, what the clever planners out there have have come out with, and and even been able to negotiate and do all kinds of lobbying to the senators out there in our Congress is saying, hey, we want to be able to put in money after tax and let it grow tax free forever. Well, there's some rules that they put in place to control that. But for the most part, we want to grow our tax, our, our money tax free and then take money out down the road. Well, the market's absolutely run 20% uh, over the last couple of years. And you know, obviously people have had a lot of some strong growth. So it makes it very, very attractive. So Corey, I make too much money to contribute to a Roth. That's what I hear from a lot of uh, people that I plan with. Uh, they tend to be uh, some high net worth investors. And they're like, Corey, I just, I want to put money in after tax or have it grow after tax or tax free, but I make too much money. I can't contribute. Well, there's something called a backdoor Roth where you do a, a non-deductible traditional IRA contribution, and then you do a conversion to a Roth IRA and you pay taxes on it. But it's a way to get around that earnings limit that the high net worth people are doing. Well, let me turn you on to the mega backdoor. And again, this is, excuse the expression, it is filthy. Because if you have a significant amount of money, or even you're a big saver and you're just thinking about how do I just put more money into retirement? I know I need to save. I've seen the dollar uh, you know, dollar value of money. And I know as long as I invest over time, it'll keep going up. And I just want to save 20, 30% of my income today. Believe it or not, there are people that are doing it. And I'm going to enjoy life down the road, but I want to just save, save, save now. Well, let's say you're working for a company, okay? And you have a 401k. And we're not going to talk about Roth at this point. You have a 401k, you've been putting in your money and you want to max out that 401k, okay? What you can do is, is you can do up to the limit rules that they'll allow, okay? And for a individual, you can look at doing the pre-tax limit of 20,500 in, in 2022, okay? Let's say your employer matches your contributions up to 6% of your salary and you're making about 200 grand. I'm just going to use that as a round number. And you're adding 12 grand. Well, now you're up to 32,500, okay? Well, a little fact that a lot of people don't know is, is you can actually put up to $61,000 in your 401k. So that means that I'm short 28,500. So if you, you know, writing this down, the government lets me put in a con contribution pre-tax, pre-tax being the key thing of 20,500. Let's say again, your employer contribution is 6% of your salary on 200. That's 12. If you're getting a hundred, that's six, right? So let's stick with 12. You're up to 32,500, but you can put in $61,000. That means you can contribute another 28,500 in write this down after tax dollars. After tax. So if you have extra money in your savings account and you just want to dump it into your account, your 401k, you can do this. Well, here's where it gets real fun, okay? So some plans out there and a majority of plans allow what's known as an in-service distribution. That means you can do a distribution to a Roth IRA account. Your plan will allow you to, in-service just means you're working, an in-service distribution to your Roth IRA. And that means that you can take the money out of the 401k plan while you're still working and move the after-tax portion plan of your plan to a Roth 401, uh, uh, excuse me. You can move from, a, from the 401k plan, you can move the after-tax portion to an IRA. So now you've taken money that you have saved that's going to, if you try to grow, it will grow tax, uh, be, basically be taxed every single year. You dump it into a 401k. And if your plan allows you to do an in-service distribution, now you move that money out of your 401k into a Roth IRA. So now you've done a mega backdoor Roth contribution. 
It is absolutely filthy. And it is something that uh, when I got just turned on to it again, Rick, thank you for that. Can't thank you enough. Um, I wanted to make sure that people know this because if you have cash balance plans, but you also have a 401k, you can do this. Like these, these are some for high net worth individuals. This can be really, really uh, attractive because it means you're able to just filter money to an after tax uh, growth mindset from if you were saving in a joint account or a taxable account, now you can move that to a tax-free account. And it's it's absolutely amazing. So if you're not able to do it, it's not a big deal. Um, what I would tell you is, is you want to go through the hierarchy of buckets, okay, before you just start dumping money into your plan. And what I would tell you is, is absolutely max out your 401k contribution pre-tax. Absolutely, if you can, do a tax deductible uh, contribution to an IRA, or if you're not able to, um, you know, this is absolutely something that you can do where you can put money into your 401k on an after tax basis. Again, you got to make sure that your plan allows you to do that, number one. And number two, if you want to move it to an IRA after you do the contribution, you need to make sure that your plan allows you to do an in service withdrawal. If you're not able to take it out via in-service withdrawal, the money will just sit there. And then when you do officially close out or move out of your plan, which I encourage everybody to do, at some time when you retire or when you have the ability, you can move it to a tax-free account. Now, the trick will be any earnings on that will be taxable. So you got to play that game. And I can easily help you figure out all of this stuff. But the key thing is, is you got to know about this mega backdoor if you have the ability from an income perspective to appreciate it. So as I said before, I wanted to go ahead and throw this out there. Uh, this is not something that is common, but you can absolutely use it to leverage your uh, financial future. Again, I'm trying to do everything I can to help you grow your money as quickly and safely as possible. And if we can do it on a tax-free basis, let's do it. If you're looking for somebody to help you, uh, you're looking for someone to you know, walk you through planning, someone to take off some of that investment stress, please let me know. Again, Corey Schrader, Black Creek Wealth Management. And as I always say, if no one's told you they care about you, please know that I do. I'm here for you. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, thoughts, topics you want me to talk about. Go to my website, Black Creek Wealth Management, excuse me, blackcreekwm.com. Let me know how I can help. God bless. Have a great day.